This morning, we're continuing to follow a deadly mass shooting out of New York. Police say 10 people are dead after a teenager opened fire in a Buffalo supermarket. Michael Wooten has the latest for us this morning. Around 2.30 in the afternoon. Possible active shooter at the top. There are still shots being fired. At a place where we feel safe. Put as many cars as you possibly can. The deadliest mass shooting in Buffalo history. This was pure evil. Inspired by white supremacy, authorities say the shooter drove here from his home three and a half hours away in Broome County. This uh, tragic incident by someone who is not a part of our community does not live here. Police say he drove up to the Tops Market on Jefferson Avenue armed with a semi-automatic rifle and wearing body armor. He exited his vehicle. He was very heavily armed. He had tactical gear. He had a tactical helmet on. He had a camera that he was live streaming what he was doing. After shooting four in the parking lot, killing three, police say he entered the supermarket. A beloved security guard who was a retired Buffalo police officer, a hero in our eyes, engaged the suspect, fired multiple shots, struck the suspect, but because he had heavily armed, uh, armored plating on, uh, that bullet had no round. The police commissioner says the suspect then shot and killed that retired officer, identified as Aaron Salter, allowing the rampage to continue. In all, nine were shot inside, the total death toll rising to 10 before patrol officers arrived on scene and convinced the suspect to put down his gun and surrender. While motives are often elusive this early in an investigation, the Erie County Sheriff said that is not the case here. It was straight up racially motivated hate crime from somebody outside of our community, outside of the city of good neighbors coming into our community and trying to inflict that evil upon us. Investigators are reviewing the live stream of the attack and a racist manifesto published online. Sources say he etched the N-word into one of his weapons. We are investigating this incident as both a hate crime and a case of racially motivated violent extremism. That falls within the FBI's counterterrorism division, the feds assisting local police. Whatever we need, we will not stop until justice is brought to this community, those families, and the victims of this horrific crime. The U.S. attorney asked for peace amid the horror, a plea echoed by Buffalo's council president during a post news conference prayer. Pray for peace, pray for unity. But most of all, God, we pray that justice be done. As so many now say a prayer for this city in mourning. In Buffalo, I'm Michael Wooten reporting.